All right, I see and I uh, see the messages and I uh, understand it's time for us to get started. And I really would like to welcome everyone uh, today on our Marketplace Circle. Again, the, this is an incredible opportunity for our partners to talk to our clients, talk to our employees, to talk to uh, our network on how their applications can boost the productivity and efficiency of the organizations of our existing and potential clients. So it's my great pleasure here to first uh, do the introduction to Bruce, Bruce McGowan, the CEO of Interweave. We've been partnering from 2018 and Bruce will be presenting today uh, the uh, sought after integration with the Sage platform. So Bruce, uh, welcome to our Marketplace Circle. Well, thank you, it's good to be here. Thanks, Bruce. We also have Blaje, the CEO and the founder of company Lendingi, and uh, the partner is from Poland. Uh, we had a great meeting uh, last month here in Boston, Massachusetts. We're driving very exponentially to see a big demand for this solution, so we decided also to invite Blaje to this call. Blaje, how is the weather in Poland today? Oh, it's it's getting colder, colder and colder. So we hope that Christmas will be white. Yeah, but still no snow, right? No snow, but I changed my tires for the winter, for the winter mode, so I'm prepared. Great, great. Well, Jay, thank you for joining. Uh, we also thank have you. uh, Julian from Bulgaria, the CEO of company Sirma InsureTech. We've been partnering uh, with Julian for almost three years, and we have uh, created a vertical. and We really would like to share today some interesting applications will be of interest, especially for the insurance industry. Julian, how are you doing? Hello, Alex. Perfect, thank you. Yeah, look forward, look forward to a uh, demonstration of your uh, solution today. We also have our partner Velvetech. Um, uh, we, we've been partnering with Velvetech from 2017. Uh, company Velvetech, it's a world-class expert telephony and contact centers. We work with the Velvetech across the United States with their office in Chicago. And today we have uh, Roman and Artemi who joined this call to present and demo their solution. Hi, gentlemen. Hi, Alex. Thank you very much. Uh, it's a pleasure, uh, pleasure being here with you. Excellent. Uh, thank you, guys. Right. And we also have um, uh, sales up. We have the CEO and the founder, Alex Andronik, with his colleague, Vladimir. And uh, incredible fact, but they have already with us 20 applications on the marketplace. And today uh, they will show us the flagship solution for their planning, forecasting, and data management. Alex, Vladimir, welcome to the Marketplace Circle. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Alex. It's a great pleasure to be here. And uh, we have, in addition, more five applications under verification. That's why we hope it will be soon 25 uh, applications or marketplace. All right. So let's get it started. Uh, we see more and more attendees are coming and joining our session. But again, Marketplace Circle, you know what it is. It's a partner-only global initiatives. We invite all the network to exchange the best practice of the applications that you create for our clients, for our dear clients, just to provide this additional genuine care across the globe. We also have our employees of Croatia here on this session, just to understand which particular application can boost uh, the productivity of their existing clients or the potential clients. So we want to make our clients happy by implementing Croatia with your applications. First, we are going to have in, in December marketing and sales circle. We're gonna run this session with Andy Dogan and we're gonna share the best experience on how our specific partners were generating leads and how they optimize the sales circle and how we're closing new interesting uh, deals. We're going to talk about the successful implementation with Natalie Waters in January on how the implementation, what are the, were the hints or what were the uh, shortcuts of delivering our solution faster and more efficient. And today we have a marketplace circle and I'm very excited to get it started with our first speaker. But prior to that, I want to ask you if you are a contributor to our marketplace circle today, um, or in our even in general our marketplace uh, platform. Please contact Anastasia Veselova to be in touch uh, and uh, get access to the next session, so you can become a speaker and promote your application. As I just already mentioned, we're having Bruce going to be talking about the Sage Intact integration, and I'll pass the floor to him momentarily. Lending Geek Connector will be shown by Blaje. Uh, Shirma ensued by Julian uh, from Shirma Tech, and we have uh, Velvet Tech company will be presenting contact center a product suite and sales app data management by our partner sales app. Bruce, without any further ado, I'm passing you the floor to talk to us about the solution Sage Intact Integration. Bruce. 
All right. Well, thank you very much. The name of the company is Integration Technologies. Interweave Smart Solutions is our moniker. Um, we've been working about 16 years uh, with CRM technology integration with that. And uh, we're located in four locations in the East Coast of the US being New York, Connecticut, Boston, and Toronto. And so next slide, a little disclaimer. We all have seen that before many times, Alex, you know that, so that's good. No, the easiest that's, slide I've we seen can, in the We years. can pass that one. I just want to say a thanks. Uh, thank you. <laughs> it's um, in 2018, we met Andrew Brill in Boston and the, uh, we've been working with another vendor now, CRM vendor, for which, which will remain undisclosed for about, for about 16 years. But uh, it's when I met uh, Caratio in Boston, the vibe was just excellent. And so just wanted to say thank you and uh, uh, for bringing us in. We're, we're here to support sales services uh, of Caratio as your integration partner. Thank you, Bruce. So a little bit about us and uh, into our websites. We now went from one to four websites. We're going to be going into the sales, uh, the, the Creatio to uh, the Intact uh, solution itself. We have done actually uh, the entire Sage line over the years here. Um, configuration testing demo is going to be into uh, taking a look at how we're set up and all that. And very last are just the people. So this, is, you can see, some corporate overview. Um, we've been actually going since about the year 2000 with an enterprise engine. We uh, and then met a, a CRM company. We spent about four years moving that into a SaaS hosted version. Um, we've been around quite a while. So you can see over the years here, we, we're, uh, we, we've changed from Interweave only to Interweave, the smart platform for integration. For websites, uh, Interweave Home's been redone. Help is we have a lot of documentation for assistance. I think one the one point I'd like to make is that we, we work uh, for and with our people during these integration sessions in the whole. And uh, we uh, fresh desk ticketing system, dig into that. Um, and we do Zooms all day, every day. Um, additionally, we have the Integrative Exchange, which shows that we work, uh, uh, the solutions that we provide with some of our vendors. And then status is the status of the servers. We have dedicated servers for CRMs here. So it just shows disclosure. I think what we've done is it's a bit different. It's not an API discussion. It's a business uh, process and workflow discussion. So um, we've written the solution prior. So from an accounts receivable, accounts payable viewpoint, Korea to, to Sage and TAC, for example, you can go by object level here and select uni or bi-directional integration. Um, you have op, uh, op, uh, options like create and update, create only, all these types of things. And you can see here from here from a, from a, the standard and custom objects are inclusive. So uh, we, we make no distinction there. Uh, additionally, um, all Sage history can be brought in. Uh, we have, it, it's called the interweave flows. So here's some of our additions. We have the small business edition, enterprise, and the ultimate. And from an AP, uh, AR perspective, you can see here, uh, Creteo to, um, in this case, uh, customers and jobs, sales orders, invoices, receipts, estimates, payments, payment received, credit memos, items, and then from an AP perspective, we can move to vendors, jobs, sales orders, invoices, all these type of things, credit memos, all that. So extensive. Uh, next slide would be our enterprise. And we've done everything that you can see here in the, uh, the small business that we now move to, in this case, enterprise. So we incorporate, in this case, multiple currency, multiple price books, multiple pro profiles, multiple company files. A lot of our customers go multiple, multiple company files, either by uh, a line of business by currency, those type of things, multi-cloud into inter, uh, integrations. And then moving forward here, here's our process. And so we can see, come in, we, uh, we create the base, uh, the base profile for the customers. We have two documents. It's the eight-step document and the survey. And the survey allows us to understand what the customer is doing with Creative today, what they're doing with Sage today. And now they integrate together. That allows us to do a preset. We have about 15 preset models. And you can see here, the steps are data, testing, binding, and moving to production with tickets, and then Zoom. And let's go over, let me grab this screen here for a minute. You can share that. And so you can see here from what we've done, we set every customer up, and this is where it's about, um, typically it's about two one hour sessions to start with, total lapse length uh, for integration is anywhere typically between 10 and 20 business days with a customer. It really is 
it's their business process, it's their workflow, it's their time frame. So, I mean, we work with that. But going through here, you can see here, for example, uh, with customers, we can go unidirectional either way or bidirectional. So from an AR perspective, it's uh, customers, it's moving down to jobs, sales orders, invoices, sales receipts, estimates. And then from an AP perspective, we have vendors, we have purchase orders, and then a whole host here. So bills, vendor credits, deposits, payments, credit memos, checks, I mean, on and on and on, time tracking. We have actually customers that do majority of work in the CRM system and just do journals. So going through this, this is where it typically gets a Cradio, maybe the sales admin and the controller, those types of individuals are representing and we go through and make selections. Uh, again, we do this for and with the customers. There's about 300 configurable options here for you as you move through this. So it's it's very detailed. Uh, you can see here, parent, child, things like this. Move down. Uh, when in regard to pick lists, you actually just create the pick list in Creatio and then copy paste it over and it's there. As far as relationships, you can see on the way over, for example, it's create an update. And when would like to have that information move? Well, when the, uh, the uh, account is created to the orders at a certain stage, account custom fields, order is one, approved by, Approved by Alex, there we go. Let's go with others, things like that. Maybe in the way back though, it's update only. So accounting apps can update fields in Corregio or they can create new ones in this case. So there's a lot here, uh, billing and shipping at every level, every being standard and custom accounts, uh, sales rep mapping for commission, uh, more mappings in this case for custom mapping. And so this just goes on and on. So whatever you select at the object level allows you to come in here, sales orders, and I think there's a lot of detail here, but for example, um, convert sales order to invoice. I, I kind of like this one here. Uh, standard prefix, custom prefix, new invoices, all these types of things. Invoices, you can see here, to be printed, to be emailed. So it's pretty much, uh, here's Avalara actually incorporated there if you're running that. But uh, the heart of the system comes down to the items here. So products, the chart of accounts, class, category, income, expense accounts. We work with that. We're big into assemblies, sub-assemblies, groups, sub-items, all this kind of thing. So we also, we do load the first year over from Sage over to Creatio of all the, of all the data here. Moving our way down, uh, multiple databases, multiple files. Here's your credentials moving in there. Uh, that's how we connect. You have multiple, in this case, the, the certain credentials, the servers, all these types of things. What this looks like though, is when you go in here, let's go over. It's a concept of a flow. Mm -hmm. Let me just pop this up for a minute. And a flow is it's moved data at the object level. So let's go into that. And so we have two types. So whatever object you selected there in the beginning, this is where your master console is now. So you can see scheduled transactions. And I have accounts to customers and orders, but you can see here, over here, I have interval timings, uh, 300 mil, 300,000 milliseconds is five minutes, but 3 million six is one hour. So you can set this up. It depends on the API levels per edition you have there. But over here, utility transactions, those type of things. So here's Sage N for a, uh, a named account. Let's go into that and maybe go over to Creatio here. Here's the ADP. Let's take a look at ADP. Put over in... And Sage, I don't see, I don't see ADP. So you can either do it uh, using utility or with scheduled flows to move information. And so let's put ADP in. Like that. It's down. And so this is running. And you can see over on the right, we have a complete log file that's either delivered in real time or beginning of day. So these are just all the, the selections that you have. And there we go. I got a one and zero, which is good. I go over Sage. Let's do a refresh. And as I move down, get my slide here. There's ADP. Let's take a view. And there's data being brought over. So this is just a cursory look here, but you can see uh, princess ADP uh, addresses, uh, mobile phone numbers, mm -hmm. all those types of things. So this typically is run in uh, scheduled transaction flows, being every five minutes, once an hour, once a day. It's up to you. 
So that's how we run. Can I take questions on uh, from anyone who has questions on how we uh, approach our integration? Yeah, Bruce, we have some questions uh, yeah. from, uh, I see the first question is from Andy. Andy, would you like to unmute yourself and ask the question? Uh, marketing team, have we muted? Like, I, I don't think so. It's an open microphone session. But Andy Marchenko, are you with us? Do you hear us? Okay, Andy, maybe you will unmute yourself. Eugen, are you with us? You have the second uh, yes. question. Yes, hi all. Thank you, very, thank you very much, Alex. I have a question. So yes. um, like, for, for, from, from your experience, how much time and resources are maybe needed to implement this integration? That's um, it, it's anywhere typically between 10 and 20 days, business days. It really is uh, the, the first two hour one, you know, the first hour sessions is typically two of them going through for configuration uh, and mm -hmm. then at the same time, maybe the customers uh, uh, did a little bit of data cleaning, but it, uh, it you know, it depends if you're into heavily into AR, AP, mm -hmm. I, I, would, I, would, I would schedule 15 days. Is, is that Dimitro? Just to, 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 to understand the, the, the average, so just mm -hmm. average for customers would, would, or partners would, would ask, yeah. Yeah, I would say 15 to 20, 20 business days. It really mm -hmm. is customer schedule. Right. Bruce, Thank first you. of all, you're having uh, a great comment in the chat. You are a living legend. So the temperature is <laughs> rising. You have already some fans on this session. But uh, yeah, aside, uh, though it's not a joke, it's true. But uh, the question internally I've received as well is that uh, what products and versions your product applicable to? So tell us about the versions, about the products. So when, when somebody hears Sage integration, yeah. where we can reach out to you. What are the versions? What are the products? Thank well, you. we've done, um, we, we've been going for 16 years since 2006. So we've done from 50 to 500. We've done every single one from desktop. It's, um, I, I think it's about 18 months ago, um, Coratio uh, Intact uh, moving towards online and Cloud 100 were the ones that were being brought up. Mm -hmm. So the first one you're seeing here is intact. We're, we're, on, we're working on Cloud 100 right now. Um, I did go to uh, down to Orlando to uh, to uh, uh, the Sage uh, three day, um, and that's where it's kind of you know as as Creatio is really focused in uh, Europe, uh, Pan Asia, Australia, Latin America. Um, Sage Intact is doing the exact same thing, and so is Interwave. So uh, what we're really enjoying at there's high alignment towards these two specific products, and I'll say Intact and Cloud 100, and that's that's our focus. Thank you, Bruce. Mike, uh, from the technical wing, do we have any questions from your side? Uh, no, actually, I think, yeah, it was a pretty good uh, demo from our side. So uh, uh, not uh, very, uh, not much particular questions from my side, yeah. Okay, uh, Bruce, in this case, I'll read the question from Andy. Does it provide consultation as a part of installation of the connector? It's um, not really connector. We we create about fifteen custom sections and fields, uh, mm -hmm. and that's how we. That's how. That's really all. That's the only thing that's running in uh, on the Creatio side. Um, right. We run a rack space managed hosting, which is a uh, quite a large ISP out of uh, the U.S. Uh, I don't know, two point three billion sales. We're also co-located at another company called Trap Online out of Nevada, which hosts specifically mm -hmm. uh, QuickBooks, uh, Sage, and Microsoft Dynamics. So mm -hmm. it's pretty. Yeah, the, the question is the question is some partners might be interested in that and they would like to receive additional maybe uh, I don't know information yeah. consultation yeah. something or even clients that who are on the call today yeah. they would like to get this kind of so we're asking you give us some this special promo or a couple of hours consultations. Well, so people can reach out to I'm going to be very. We met had the we had the pleasure of meeting with uh, Arena this morning at 8 a.m. East Coast time uh, regarding changes to our marketplace listing. Uh, mm -hmm. We just received the email from her, so I'm hoping by tomorrow afternoon I can answer those questions. Excellent. On the marketplace okay. with uh, promotions for you. Excellent. Let's do some Christmas there. promo from your side. Thank you, Bruce. I appreciate it. And thank All you right. for coming on the session and uh, helping us to understand better how what how your solution can help in the integration with Croatia. Thank All you right. very much. Thank you, uh, Bruce. Can I ask you to stop sharing the screen for a sec? Yeah. Okay. Excellent. So uh, right now, I really would like to pass the floor to our next speaker. Uh, without any further ado, Blagej uh, from Poland, the CEO and founder of Lendingi. Blagej, the floor is yours. 
Uh, good morning, good afternoon, nice to meet you all. Uh, as many calls starting, everyone is asking me how to pronounce my name, so apologies, Boisje, but you could call me Blaze, it's much easier, so feel free to call me uh, Blaze. <laughs> well, uh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, can I ask for the next slide? Perfect. So a uh, little bit background about uh, Landingi. So, you know, it's some kind of uh, startup story behind our company, but uh, what is super important here is this no code DNA in uh, in our background and also the a great alignment with uh, Creatio is the same no code uh, DNA. So we started out as an interactive agency. And I think you, uh, if any one of you is from the marketing and um, fighting for customers for new leads, you know how hard it is to, uh, to, to generate the leads. So as an agency, we help small companies uh, with uh, the campaigns, with the websites, and we figure out that there is a, a huge gap on the market when it comes to the landing pages. Because the landing page, we can all, uh, all think that this is something super simple to create, but when it comes to this process, it's not so easy. Um, in a bigger companies, many marketers and, and sales teams are uh, dependent on the IT teams and design teams, and the process is so long, and we know that we all need to be super agile in, in creating those things. So that's why we decided to build some kind of side project in my agency that will help us to help our customers to uh, convert more customers. And that's how we start the company. And from 2013, we are a regular company, 100% focus on building the landing page platform. Uh, and, and we are super motivated to do this because you know, we are solving our own problems. So we exactly know what to, uh, what to do. Uh, last year, we uh, we move our company to the to the US. We we get the investor from the US. That's why also we had the chance to meet with uh, with the rest of the creation team in Boston. Uh, so that's the short story about the the company. Um, we have uh, the, the team is uh, fifty specialists. We are based in Poland. When it comes to the uh, uh, to the operations, divided to five teams. Uh, uh, you can you can give me the next slide, please. And and here's more about what I would like to talk with you about the problems that we see on the, on the market. So uh, the one is what I already described a little bit is about the process. I believe many of you have this pro this uh, problem in your companies that uh, you need to rely on your corporate website, which is not so flexible to make any changes to. Um, make a campaign to build campaigns uh, fast and quick to just uh, launch the all ideas that the team is bringing to the table. So we know that this process is broken in many in many companies, and we would like to already improve this with our no code platform and the drag and drop creator, which is the heart of our system. Uh, we make this process more smoother, and and it's uh, it's much better for for marketing teams. We also know that. Uh, Internet is more and more crowded, and it's uh, really tough to be uh, budget efficient when it comes to lead generation. So that's why we think about the growing cost of media, and that you need to be super personalized when it comes to the communication you're providing to your customers. So that's it's something that uh, it's super important now when you know clicks are super expensive, and you need to be super personalized when it comes to the ads and the communication after clicking the ads. So here Landingi also can help again. And of course the results, so only 23% of marketers are satisfied with the results. There's a huge uh, number of those we can help. And that's where our optimization features can help you like A-B testing and all these kind of things. But I will tell you uh, about this uh, further. Alex, next slide, please. Okay. so. Um, if you think about the landing, it's more like a platform that the uh, that cover all the problems you can face trying to build the landing page. So as I said, the heart of the system is um, is the um, drag and drop uh, builder. I would say something like uh, Photoshop, but in the browser, and and it's just uh, prepared for the web. Uh, we have also 
a a templates, over 400 of them that could uh, help you to start uh, even quicker to build those landing pages. The second important part of, of the platform is the publishing. So we not only deliver you the landing page, but we also deliver you the infrastructure to publish those landing pages. And what is super important, we are flexible when it comes to the way how we would like to publish these landing pages. It could be under your uh, subdomain, it could be using our WordPress plugin, it could be uh, just download a PHP file that you could just put on your server. And also for some more sophisticated customers, we offer a reverse proxy way of publishing. So you could still have your corporate website and our landing pages inside your main uh, main service. Of course, and this is, I think, the, the main reason we are here is that we are well connected with the MarTech stack and, and uh, marketing solutions available on the market. The one of those integrations is a uh, landing connector for uh, creation customers. But of course, we know that customers are using different uh, different tools and different purpose. So uh, we are well connected. We also have a, the, also the webhook is available, so we could build uh, also some kind of custom solutions that you could like to that you would need for your campaigns. And two important uh, part of the platform is the optimization. So uh, one of this is the A/B testing um, um, module where you could just uh, build different. Uh, versions and test which one is the best for your audience or for different channels you're building, but also as an optimization, we think about the personalization. So uh, you can build uh, dozens of landing pages and, and our platform is uh, built to manage landing pages at scale. And of course, the most important part is the uh, conversion rates. So you can build uh, funnels, you can build more uh, more things about uh, about the conversion rates and and how we would like to optimize them. So everything under one roof. Uh, here is how the uh, connector site looks like on the creation marketplace. You could find us there and and install and try us. Uh, yeah, and as I mentioned, uh, I will not uh, do the live demo here. Uh, it's uh, it, it will just take up too too much time to build everything. Here we have just a couple of minutes. So, uh, as I mentioned, the heart of the of the platform is the uh, is the drag and drop builder. I think you you see some similarities to the uh, to the Photoshop or other uh, similar graphic tools. You can uh, you can build the form inside our landing page uh, solution, and once you have this form, then you can just uh, um, pick the creation integration. Is the next slide, Alex? So there is a different ways how you can how you can integrate the form. So you, you create uh, you 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 can uh, put the creation uh, on the, uh, find the creation on the list and and uh, pick them, and on the next slide you will see the uh, you will just need to provide the request URL API key, and then you can easily map your uh, fields from the form with the fields from your uh, account in Creatia, and that's how you will get the leads to your uh, to your system. Uh, with me here is also Robert, and uh, we are happy to schedule a quick more dedicated demo with any of you who are interested to, to do this. Uh, Robert will, will type our email addresses on the chat. So if anyone would like to have this more dedicated demo, uh, just shoot us an email, please. Yeah, so when it comes to the, our, our uh, clients, we have four, uh, four kind of groups of customers. Uh, a huge part of customers that we have is the business owners. So uh, I would even say solo entrepreneurs that are just uh, doing a little bit of everything in their businesses, but we help them to generate leads. Of course, we have marketing teams, marketing experts, which is well-educated uh, customer and use more sophisticated features. We work with many agencies uh, and provide them also features that help them to work with many customers uh, um, at once. And of course, enterprise customers uh, that need some more um, dedicated uh, services and dedicated things that we need to provide to them. Next slide, please, uh, Alex. Yeah, so when it comes to the uh, where, where we have our customers, so we are based in Poland, but it's only 32% of our uh, customer base. The second market is the US and then Brazil, but we also have customers from over 
80 countries are, but of course the Europe is, is uh, in total is, uh, is more than half of our customers. Um, we have a different type of customers that we work with. Uh, we have four main groups of main, main categories of customers is finance, education, um, media companies and agencies, and I would say advertising companies. I think some of logos here could be uh, familiar for you. Uh, next slide, please. Yeah, and here I, uh, I prepared just a couple of uh, examples how we work with the customers because we have a different type of how we how we work with the customers. So here, always Toyota. Uh, the, they just build landing pages using our platform. And and this is I would say more like a regular customer for us. This is just using our platform, but you could see how personalized landing pages could be uh, built using Landingi. The next case is about uh, Credit Agricole, I think well-known brand, and um, this is an enterprise customer. We we had to build a customer custom integration when it comes to the to the leads and some kind of solutions that that the bank expects. But also, this is something that's a good example that our platform is so well prepared that we passed all the uh, tests that will be necessary from the security bank system. So we are well secured and prepared to work with the enterprise clients. And the last case is something that we. Beside, of course, the software, we also offer uh, services. So they're Geronimo Martins, uh, which provides uh, um, the shops in Poland, is like Walmart in the US, and and uh, they produce a lot of campaigns with uh, um, particular other partners when it comes to market new products or promotions and a building such a number of those landing pages that there's no one in the team that can handle this so fast so we also provide the um, design team available for our customers and and Geronimo Martins is, is one of the customers who is using us our team like they own and make this process super super fast and quick so those Three types of customers, and if any questions, I'm happy to. I'm happy Roger, to answer. Thank you so much for uh, for uh, interesting presentation. <laughs> and again, and again, again, it's uh, incredible to see how, in less than ten years, from a startup, you become one of the leader on the market. And I really want to say, uh, I gratitude for you for our joint engagements right now with our uh, Croatia sales team, because we truly see the differentiator of your company among the competition you have in the market. Though. I still have a question from our internal in place here. Uh, so what is the main uh, competitive advantage of working with Landingi uh, and how we can convince our prospect to go with Landingi than the other solution they have on the table already using? Thank you. So it uh, depends on what competitor we go, we discuss this, but uh, I'm sure that the builder that we provide, we call them pixel perfect. So you can build exactly what you would like to see uh, uh, from the design and marketing perspective. You can build whatever you want. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a really uh, well-prepared infrastructure worldwide. So there is no, uh, no worries when it comes to the speed of those landing pages no matter the customer is. And we have a really huge uh, base of um, templates. So you can so you can just uh, start very quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, uh, as I mentioned also, uh, we are the only provider that support customer with services. So that's also super important because customer can, first, can start really fast. Right, uh, right. Yeah. The pleasure, we didn't see today you are creating a landing page. Uh, but a uh, quick question, like how long it takes just to create a, a landing page for your product and how long it takes, like literally in time, because some of our partners potentially, they don't have this landing page uh, experience before. And uh, when you say no code, what are the main um, skills I needed to accomplish this task? Thank you. Okay. So when it comes to the main skills, I think it's important it to uh, have the someone who is uh, good with the graphics to build as mm -hmm. two, three first landing pages, because in there you can start copying elements from one landing page to another. You could build the smart sections that you can use on many landing pages 
uh, just editing them in the one place. So it's easy when you have first two, three landing pages. Uh, it's, I think it's for, it's like uh, one to two weeks for the team to fully onboard on our platform with those two, three landing pages published. Uh, of course, when customer is using our team, we, we just need three days to prepare this kind of landing page and, and make it working for the customer. But right. of course, it's because we are well experienced with the platform. But I think uh, it's it's worth to invest those uh, those uh, first uh, couple of days uh, just working with the creator. And once we know creator very well, it's super easy to use uh, duplication option and build the second, the, the couple of next landing pages using those first uh, couple that we already have. So that's the, that's the main uh, goal that we have in our first onboarding steps with the customer. Thank you, Blaje. Unfortunately, we're running out of time or we have some more speakers to sure. come, but I wish you to keep going with our winning path and go for more enterprise happy clients that we have together. Blaje, Robert, thank you for uh, your thank contribution. You we really appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Right, we have uh, Julian, CEO and founder of company Sirmasut. Uh, Julian, uh, without any further ado, I'm passing the floor to you. Thank you, Alex. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, okay, I will start with uh, a few words about our company from where we are coming. Uh, Alex, you can switch to the next slide. Uh, we have uh, 20 years of uh, expertise in insurance. We are coming from the insurance industry. Until mid of this year, we were owned uh, by the Insurance Group, and we were working mainly for the group. Since July of this year, we are part of uh, one of the largest privately owned Bulgarian IT groups. And uh, uh, that's why we are allowed to go, let's say, outside of the market. Uh, what expertise uh, we are covering, uh, uh, we, we did uh, many different projects in different areas with uh, different uh, uh, vendors, uh, starting from the, uh, some ERP systems or core insurance platforms. We have portals, chatbots, uh, etc. cetera. Uh, can we switch? Sure. One more. Yeah, thank you. And now, uh, what is the situation with the insurance companies? Uh, uh, I think that everyone is dealing with, uh, with them, but uh, they are facing some challenges uh, uh, today and uh, we want to help them to, to solve it. Uh, I would uh, uh, hear a lot of challenges uh, uh, described, but I want to concentrate on two of them. Uh, first of them is that uh, currently the insurance business is uh, mainly product centric and they are focused on their own products. They have a huge legacy system which can support the, uh, the product change, the tariffs, uh, etc. And from other side, it's uh, very much time consuming and uh, with manual interruption process let's say, to issue the policy or to settle the claim. Uh, next slide. From other side, uh, we have a lot of disruptors. It's kind of disruptor insurance like uh, Lemonade, uh, Honcho, Policy Pal, etc., which are fast and convenient, but unfortunately, they are focused on the, some small products or some very uh, targeted uh, solutions which just show to the customer uh, how the insurance process could look like when it's fully digital, because it's uh, uh, more, let's say, uh, transparent, more fast and more simplified. Uh, they also, the insurance companies have a push from the customer side. Alex, next slide. The customer now is, uh, living in, uh, 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 has a power with the mobile phone in, in the hand, and they already became a uh, digital native. They want everything to be simple and fast. Even they don't understand it like it is in the, in the insurance. I'm pretty sure that most of you, when they start to deal with the insurance, they fully uh, committed to everything what the uh, broker or uh, the agent says to them or the insurance states to them. And uh, also the pandemic forced the digital transformation of the insurance companies. 
Uh, I will just remark here uh, from one study that uh, about 77% prefer to submit claims via mobile, and I will return to this number on the end of our presentation. Okay, what we have is a CIRMA Insuit to, to solve all these problems. Uh, we have end-to-end uh, -end insurance suite which can cover all major insurance types. We can cover anything from uh, healthcare, from travel, from auto, from life, from non-life. Uh, <clears throat> our suite is uh, divided on two, uh, on two, let's say, main parts. One is the policy management, and the second one is claim management. In policy management, we can uh, uh, we have uh, two submodules, which are integral part of the solution, but they're coming uh, out of the box with any of the of the licenses. It doesn't matter policy or claim. And this is product configuration and payments. In product configuration, uh, everybody is able to, to configure a product, to configure uh, covers, risks inside, uh, tariff tables, etc., to change them, to put the validity, etc., and then to start with the policy administration. With policy administration, we are starting from proposal or offer, then we have a risk assessment, we can have approval process. Uh, we can cover everything from the policy generating, printing, then whole complete policy life cycle, like changes, annexes, termination, etc. In claim management, we are also covering the, the complete process. We are starting from, uh, uh, let's say, uh, in individual or group claim submission. Uh, group claim submission we can have where we are working with partners, let's say, auto repair shops or hospitals. It depends on the case. But anybody can submit a claim, then we can assess this claim, approve it through the approval process. We can provide some kind of assistant, medical or any other kind of assistant through the uh, uh, pure CRM functionalities. Uh, and then at the end, uh, we can cover everything related with uh, reporting uh, and uh, payment. Uh, just to mention here that uh, both of the parts are based on the uh, creation service doesn't matter which edition. And with, with our solution, uh, what, what we can achieve? We can achieve that uh, very quick to time to market. We can have for some, let's say, small insurance um, companies, uh, which are uh, newly established or they're operating in emergent markets. Uh, they can go live with a product configuration within, let's say, weeks. And then uh, they can... Uh, step out on the uh, on the functionality which is provided by the CRM part of creation. Uh, it can really boost and speed up the uh, the time to adopt any core insurance system. Uh, when I say the core insurance system, yes, uh, with CIRMA Suite you can use Creatio as a core insurance system. But guys, this is not uh, how to say. Uh, we know the insurance companies, it would be not easy. Alex, next slide. And uh, we, we want to uh, position our uh, vertical solution with two different use cases. First of the use case is, uh, okay, we have the CRM, which is pretty well developed. Creation is great in this. But if you go to the insurance company and say, hello, guys, uh, I have a, a perfect CRM for you. Some of them, or most of them, will ask you, okay, where I can store the policy? how I can manage the claim and things like that. This is exactly what we're providing with, with our solution. Uh, we provide a, a smooth integration or smoother integration between the legacy system and the CRM. Means that we have all the, uh, all the objects and processes inside in Creatio, and then we can, we can transparently uh, through APIs uh, transfer all this information to the legacy system because most of the insurance companies uh, nowadays would be not, uh, uh, how to say, pushed or nobody can push them to leave their legacy system because they have a lot of data in the, their legacy system. And this is from which they are living in the past 200 years, data. Then based on this data, they're calculating the risks and that's why they will not change the legacy system. The second, uh, the second use case, is uh, slightly uh, different. It's, it's the same, but uh, we want to move most of the functionality from the legacy system into Creatio. 
and do the kind of upgrade of the CRM functionalities of Creatio and also to put the administration of the main insurance process on the Creatio. And we can remain the legacy system for the uh, reporting purposes or accounting and transfer the information to the, uh, to the financial system of the insurance company. In the next two slides, uh, this is somehow uh, uh, explained uh, graphically. This is the first case where we just do the integration. You can see the integration between Creatio and all the surrounding system because it's very easy to Creatio and to see main suite, we can attach a web portal, different uh, way of the communication. It's coming out of the box uh, from the Creatio service. And in the second case, we have just uh, one way connection to the legacy system where we use in Creatio, we can do everything and we just post the data to legacy system for the reporting, for the actuarial analysis, and for the uh, uh, for the transfer to the financial system. Uh, at the end, I want to, to speak about the use case which we currently have. We have started with uh, Bootstrap Life eight years ago. At that time, uh, we we developed a solution based on the Salesforce, and currently currently we are migrating all this to Creatio and Sirmain Suite. Uh, the Go Life is expected end of this year. Now we are in the final validations. And for this time, they're using uh, digitalization because it doesn't matter that much it's uh, Salesforce or Creatio. Uh, just with Creatio, they save uh, four times from the licenses. That's why this is the main trigger why they migrate to Creatio. Right now, the second trigger is that uh, it's much easier to configure and to do the things in Creatio comparing with the Salesforce. But uh, they have increased uh, approximately three times, three and a half times the uh, persons which they are managing into the and serving into the system with the, approximately the same uh, workforce on their back office. And uh, here I want to return back to the, uh, to the numbers uh, which I have mentioned, 77% uh, stating that they uh, would like to submit the claim on digital channel. In Bootstrap Life, for the first 10 months of this uh, year, we have 86% of the claims submitted online, which I think is an uh, uh, amazing number. And it just shows that uh, the customer is ready, the insurance customer is also ready, and uh, we just have to use it and to push this into the, into the, uh, into the, insurance company to do it to serve the customer better this is the yeah. thank you so much Julian. uh we have a quick question about pricing policy i know you're releasing your solution the end of december can you just shed some light on the pricing uh this is already on the marketplace alex uh means that it's released uh the pricing is uh, uh for the bot models we have uh uh 300 dollars per year per user if it is year, combined it's 480. okay and any special christmas offerings on the session from your side will we give additional incentive to the attendees today so we can we can uh, make 50 percent discount from this uh, for anybody who is uh, jumping in for the next five zero six months five zero okay that's very interesting. So uh, please expect some messages directly to your chat. But Yuram, thank you very much for um, coming to us and contributing to the insurance industry with Creatio. Thank you for a lovely differentiators on why it's on Creatio on the Salesforce or other solutions. We appreciate your partnership and uh, all the best for us to closing the deals. You know what are we talking right now about? All the best, Yuram, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. All right, we were accelerating a bit and I'm passing the floor to our leading partner, uh, Velvatech, with the description of the contact center product suit. Artemi, Roman, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Alex. Uh, he hello, everyone. Thank you for joining our session today. So uh, today we are going to talk about the capabilities of our intelligent contact center solution and discuss how it helps organizations from various industries uh, boost operations. Uh, my name is Roman Mastabayev. I'm a senior client account manager here at Velvetech. I am in charge of business development and customer success with our contact center solutions. And today I'm joined by my colleague, Artemi Fyrsov. He's our team lead and product manager for contact center and AI solutions. Artemi, please say hello. 
Yes, hello everyone. Yeah. So uh, let me let me start by quickly introducing uh, our company. So since the early 2000s, our team has been uh, delivering successful software development services. Uh, among them is CRM and contact center implementation, and we work with the best phone system system platforms on the market, including Ring Central and 2600 Hertz. Additionally, we work with the top CRM uh, software vendors that includes Creatio, our leading CRM partner today. And uh, yeah, next slide, please, Alex. So we deliver our services globally, but the company uh, company is headquartered in Chicago, and Velvetech has over uh, has over uh, 150 full-time experts who implement and support our software solutions and uh, uh, facilitate innovation and growth for our customers. And now let's uh, talk about Velvetech's contact center solution available on the Creation Marketplace. So uh, our main product is uh, the contact center product suite. It includes a cloud, a cloud phone system with uh, various VoIP connectors and um, AI-powered call analytics platform with uh, speech-to-text transcripts uh, and call recordings. And uh, last but not least, an inbound and outbound call center with dynamic call scripts. And additionally, we have uh, various uh, other applications available on the creation marketplace. Uh, yeah, uh, this is, uh, yeah, this is a quick feedback That's from one of our client. clients. Yes. Yeah. And it's always good uh, to have positive feedback, isn't it? It is. It is indeed. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about the AI. What's what's interesting here? Arkemi. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm continuing. Uh, okay, and right. uh, different, cl different clients use AI differently and seek uh, Ryan advantages. Some are most interested in gaining a better customer understanding. Others value the ability to acquire real-time insights and take quick action the most. Uh, however, what unified them all is uh, the desire uh, to learn more about uh, uh, to learn more about the processes and uh, boost efficiency. And uh, how does it work, uh, Alex? Next slide, please. Uh, yeah, how does it all work? So everything starts uh, with um, from call monitoring and recording. And then uh, conversations are transcribed and data fed into the AI solution, uh, which delivers uh, relevant insights, helping you learn from each call and allowing you to start implementing the best practices. And here, speech analytics uh, might be one of the most uh, crucial features of the contact center. And uh, Alex, next slide, please. And it works like a gluing mechanism that extracts uh, information from unstructured data, such as calls, audio, or text messaging. And uh, it allows to analyze previous interactions, timely identify customer interests and concerns, uh, appropriately respond to their needs, improve resolution rates, optimize resource allocation, and save costs. Right now, Alex is uh, going through our system just uh, just a couple of words about that. So we can make and receive calls in Croatia. We can have all calls all calls stored in one place with uh, most important important information about this course, like direction, duration, uh, call results, and stuff like that. We also have call recordings uh, right now on the slide. Uh, you can download the recording. You can export uh, a doc uh, file with a transcript. We have uh, timing details about each call. Uh, we also have, uh, if, we, if we're gonna add some AI capabilities, next slide, Alex, please. Uh, mm -hmm. We can track if our agent uh, ask all of the right thing that we want them to ask, or uh, did our agent all the right thing that uh, you want them to tell. So sky is the limit here, and uh, uh, that helps our customers uh, to uh, work more, uh, more efficiently. And uh, if, you, if you click next slide, Alex, uh, we yeah we have different types of uh, statistics you can track it uh, and see how your contact center is working um, next please yeah we also have call queue management portal so you can see in live what's happening in your queues how many waiting calls do you have you can listen to calls in real time you can barge call or take over a call uh, if you understand uh, your agent cannot provide the answers or something like this we also have a power dialer that is seamlessly integrated with Creation. It means that you can have, you can make thousands of call uh, per day without without jumping from multiple screens by just one click of a mouse. We have a dynamic call scripts uh, and knowledge base. 
Alex, please, next slide. Uh, yeah, as you can see, dynamic call scripts uh, that is very customizable and it's very easy to customize. Everything we do here, make calls, choose call disposition result, making notes, sending follow-up emails from here, all this information goes to creation. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, once again, all our, uh, and uh, we, have a, we have a good news about this uh, module and Artemi will share the insights with you. And uh, once again, all our, uh, all our apps are available uh, via the creation marketplace. We, al we already work with a wide range of creation partners and uh, we'll be happy to collaborate with any of you guys who are interested in our product. And uh, yeah, here is a, um, yeah, uh, just a couple of words, Artemi, from you about uh, the, our clients, uh, DataGuard USA. Yeah, but Artemi, sure. we have only a few minutes left, so very briefly, if possible. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. So yeah, we had this uh, use case with uh, the Data Guard USA client. So it's a document management company connecting individual and business owners. So they had nine operators in the call center and around a thousand and a thousand and a half calls a day. And they had a nice in contact as their queue manager. Uh, so next slide, please. So they struggled to find a tool uh, that will drive, uh, you know, the analytics uh, and uh, uh, the statistics to be the decision making um, tool uh, that uh, and they wanted uh, some improvement to their inefficient calling and uh, they had some difficulties increasing the agent productivity. So these were the issues that we uh, were eager to solve for them and to cut down on the inefficient call and better understand the picture of their client. And in order to do so, what we did is we enabled call recordings for uh, them. Uh, we started tracking additional metrics like call duration on hold time. And specifically, the one interesting is the agent versus the customer talk time, which can be done only via the transcription and AI. Uh, we started tracking what words and phrases are agents saying and put that all together into the agent scorecard that automatically scores uh, agents and their calls that they do. Next slide, please. Uh, so having those transcriptions done, we now also can visualize the calls for agents to be able to easily come back at some point of time or, you know, cherry pick some of the uh, best uh, calls and uh, best performances of their agents. And next slide, please. Uh, and uh, all this functionality coupled with the Creatio dashboarding and very flexible dashboarding functionality, uh, as well as no code, uh, this uh, really powers up the statistics that they can have and that really brought them to the level where, where they can use the statistics and analytics that they extract from the calls which are implicit uh, but now it's visual and explicit on their dashboard so um yeah yeah a couple of words uh, about the development plans and the roadmap uh so yeah we can go to the next slide so we of course will continue to update our existing connectors and then new features uh we'll extend the list of connectors of course uh, soon we are adding the power dialer capabilities to create show, which includes the dynamic call scripts that are also integrated into business processes. Uh, and uh, of course, we uh, will provide telephony services together with the create show trials. And this is like a short list, but it's uh, not full. Uh, so uh, we'll keep you updated on every new feature that we uh, will roll out. Uh, yes, 20 seconds for me, Alex, please, if yeah. you can. Sure. So yeah, so yeah, my last words, uh, whenever your clients mention that they use Creatio and they are eager to improve their call center performance, or they just want to make and receive calls in Creatio, or uh, they have a third party software for calling capabilities and would like to do everything in one place in Creatio, please don't forget about us, reach us, any, uh, reach, uh, reach us out anytime. Uh, all Volvotex products go through the Creatio marketplace, hence implementing our solutions is a win-win for everybody involved. And we'd be happy to provide a personal demo uh, to anyone who is interested in our product. You're welcome with your questions. And the special Christmas promotion, Roman, Artemi, today uh, is? Of course. If someone will come to us and say, I'm from Alex, we would be happy to discuss any, uh, to discuss discounts. <laughs> Not from Alex, just from this session. But anyway, uh, guys, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm, really, joking, I'm yeah. really happy to have uh, you as our partner because literally, we have so many existing solutions. We have so many existing happy clients who are using telephony a solution from your side. So really kudos to you. You've been working and doing this for almost uh, six years with Croatia, even seven years with Croatia. So I just want to say kudos to your team. Great job and look forward to meeting you all again in Chicago again. And let's keep growing. Uh, we have some questions uh, still uh, for you guys. 
but unfortunately due to time uh, restrictions we're going to send you them over the email if you don't mind so you will have yeah, some uh, sure. to respond to directly all right but yeah. yes i agree uh, is in regards to the telephony if client wants to call from croatia velvetech is the right technology partner uh, to realize this goal again guys thank you so much for joining us today i appreciate your time and look forward to the new solutions from you ai is super interesting when we talk about the telephony and uh, right now, I'm passing the floor to the CEO and founder, Alex uh, Andronik, uh, with his colleague, Vladimir, about the sales app data management tool. Alex, I know it's already 20 solutions, 20 applications on Marketplace on Croatia. Uh, tell us more about yeah. your company and uh, take the floor from here. Yeah, Alex, thank you. Uh, do you hear me well? Yeah, we hear perfectly well. Yeah, thanks. Uh, hi everyone, my name is Alex Andronik. I'm CEO of SalesUp. On behalf of SalesUp, today's speaker will be Volodymyr Kwasnitsky, our business developer representative. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be here and we are thankful for an opportunity to show something that we are proud of. We have been providing Croatia more than six years now and have uh, already 20 applications on our marketplace page. Without further ado, let's take a look what we have prepared for you today. Uh, Vova, passing the floor to you. Uh, Alex, before you go and pass the floor to Vova, how many clients with Croatia you have at the moment? Uh, with data management? Or no, just general? overall, overall, overall clients overall. with Croatia. All these six years that we just mentioned. I think maybe 15, 16 project, 60, 50, 60 project uh, we have been already done. Okay, yeah, because uh, I know that the number is uh, calculated in a dozen. So uh, great job. Let's let's hit to a hundred with your data management Thank solution. You. All right, Vladimir, Thank passing you. the floor here to you. Yeah, great. And before I move on, could you please give me the co-host rights? Yeah. Uh, one more time. Just give me a second. So that I could switch the slides myself. The floor is yours. The mouse. Yeah, great. Yours. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Alex, for the introduction. Uh, so starting with, uh, here you can take a look at some of our clients that are currently using uh, the data management module, and I'm sure that uh, they're more than happy uh, with the abilities of these products. And uh, by this, you can see that they are all different. They belong to different uh, business areas. And this serves as a proof that our module is uh, super universal and it can uh, help any kind of business with any kind of tasks. So uh, you're not limited uh, by the usage of uh, data management. Uh, moving forward, uh, let's discuss, so basically what is data management? Why do you need this module and how it can help uh, particularly your business? So uh, starting off, it's one of our uh, most popular products and it's popular by, uh, by the fact that, um, uh, it's multifunctional in terms of that it can help you to uh, store, uh, collect, and process large data sets in one environment. And as I said previously, it is pretty flexible and it can be used for any business areas and uh, used for different uh, tasks. Let's also take a look at some of the common issues that may be encountered uh, while using, uh, while working with uh, data. So the first one can be that uh, data is aggregate, isn't aggregated into one uh, single source. And uh, by that, um, uh, it can become a problem because when employees need to process the data, it's really difficult to collect it or to uh, work with it when it, it was collected from different sources. And now uh, I was just wondering, so basically everyone here is using CRM and is there someone who is working with planning? And if so, uh, what tools or what processes do you usually encounter? Uh, you can leave your answers in the chat. Uh, we'll check it a bit later. Yeah. Uh, so uh, briefly on that one, another issue is that uh, there may be no background for business scaling. And uh, with our solution, you, you can rest assured because you're prepared for uh, any new challenges. Uh, for example, when unexpectedly your business is starting to grow and to uh, collect more and more data, uh, there, there is no reason to uh, be afraid because uh, our data management can uh, 
assure you that uh, all the data would be collected and stored uh, perfectly well. And one more, um, uh, we can also encounter the problem of calculating large amounts of data because uh, when we see those uh, great um, data sets and lots of numbers, um, the problem of calculation may be uh, the next one. And our module can solve this problem again because uh, the calculation is uh, pretty much easy. Uh, you just have to set up the formula for the necessary process and uh, all the calculations will be uh, immediately done just in the nick of time. Uh, okay, the next one, I would like to show you some of the functionality of uh, the data management and overall features of this product. So uh, just a second, I will... Great, wonderful. So uh, as I told you before, this product is made for um, processing data, but in uh, all different ways. So um, also for uh, collecting data from various sources and for editing data. So these are the main functions. And all this can be done in one interface. So you do not, you do not have to leave um, your CRM. Everything is done in one um, uh, working space. Uh, talking on use cases, uh, usually even inside our company, we use it for uh, sales planning, for uh, the formation of uh, KPIs of the, uh, the employees, also for uh, cost plannings, for uh, formation of companies, budget, and etc. So there are many uh, use cases. You're not limited by the use of it. So um, it's pretty much flexible for uh, any company. Uh, also, uh, talking of displaying, it's really dynamic because whenever you make changes uh, inside the, uh, the system, uh, if you change any numbers, all the changes will be introduced immediately. So it's really convenient because you see uh, all changes on the picture. You don't have to wait uh, for the processing. Uh, also, uh, we can change uh, the look of the system. Uh, in terms of who is using. For instance, if I'm a product manager, I will see uh, one type of records. If I'm, for example, a local manager, I will see completely different one, as you can see now on the uh, screen. Uh, also, the manual data entering and the calculations are available. Uh, as I told previously, um, it's uh, important to set up a formula Again, it can be something simple or uh, a complex formula and uh, all the calculations would be uh, done in a second. Uh, <clears throat> also talking of the integrations, our module is pretty flexible in terms of it. Um, the, most, uh, like the, the, the most often case is the integration with uh, Microsoft Office, uh, to be more specific with Excel. Uh, because you can uh, import or export data from the system uh, into Excel table, edit it there, and download it back to uh, the system. So it's really convenient uh, to share it with other uh, employees or uh, colleagues and to store data inside of uh, the system. Uh, also, as you have noticed, um, the most common way to represent the data here is the register, but it's not the only one, of course. Uh, the dashboards are available as well. And they are dynamic, uh, they are as dynamic as the register view. Uh, so anytime you uh, make changes inside of the system, they will be represented on the, um, on the dashboard. And as a dashboard, there are available uh, line charts, pie charts, or histograms. So it's uh, another way, like another perspective how to look at the same data, uh, which is uh, convenient to, uh, while you want to analyze it or to edit it or perhaps to uh, plan something ahead. Uh, also, uh, I would like to know what problems or what um, possible issues do you have while using uh, planning inside of your um, uh, business. You can leave the answers uh, in the chat. Uh, also, one of the features that uh, we have established inside of the data management for Croatia is that uh, you can create records based on the calculated indicators. Uh, the purpose of it is that 
it's really, it saves a lot of time and it doesn't require a lot of manual work. So, uh, yeah. Uh, also, there are some uh, more additional features of uh, this product, which has uh, the right settings, uh, the approval, and also the changes monitoring and uh, changes notification. So when you uh, make or when you change anything inside of it, uh, all the changes are stored and you can uh, simply uh, keep track of when it was changed and uh, who, who changed it, for example, and uh, to what uh, extent. Uh, yeah. And so uh, talking of the idea, the core idea of uh, this project is, again, is to make the process of uh, data planning more convenient and more pleasant. And uh, the, the one like our focus was is to, uh, again, store all activities that are connected to the data in one uh, space. So no switching between uh, other tools is required. Uh, also, we uh, support the idea of um, low-code, no-code technologies, which means that setting up uh, the data management doesn't require uh, developers' involvement or some a deep technological knowledge. Uh, also, the flexibility of the product, as I said, it's, uh, it's not limited by the business, only by your imagination. Uh, and also, talking of the um, projects management, uh, for instance, if you need to uh, implement and to, or to form the report, uh, this tool would be just the right thing to do it uh, because um, while we're working with the data, it uh, will help you to, um, to, to implement the reports uh, of any project. Uh, okay, uh, so this is it. Okay, Rich, I think we have some questions from the chat, uh, if you don't mind. So, uh, oh, the yeah, question sure. from uh, Fadi. So, uh, do you uh, support some uh, external sources? Meaning, uh, like, can you only work with data which resides inside a Creatio, or uh, the tool can uh, access some external uh, repositories of the data? Yeah, we can mm -hmm. read data from repositories and uh, also you can find uh, documentation API on data management uh, on our uh, marketplace page. And if it's necessary, it will, be, uh, it will be great to make a technical meeting uh, with you about this question. We have several ways to import and use data from uh, another storages. All right, uh, German, thank you for uh, contributing to our marketplace as well. We appreciate your participation today. Thank you for your demonstration and presentation. Great job. And uh, let's hit our target, Alex, uh, to hit 100 joint clients together with Croatia. Sales up team, thank you very much and kudos for delivering such an incredible number of applications and solutions to Croatia Marketplace. All right, I would like thank to thank Alex. again today our speakers. I would like to thank again Bruce as uh, one of the entities called the living legend. Blaje, thank you very much for talking to us about the incredible uh, features of your landing gear solution. Thank you. Uh, Julian, uh, the guru of our insurance industry, thank you very much for delivering this uh, solution and uh, incredible discount to get it started. We appreciate that. Unfortunately, there was not uh, Yuri on this call today, uh, but I spoke to Yuri just yesterday. And uh, Roman, thank you very much for uh, presenting your solution of Velvetac. We appreciate thank that. You. Um, and our leaders um, on the sales up topic today is uh, Alex Andronik. Thank you very much for talking about the demonstration. You had a bit more time than the other speakers, but we really appreciate your contribution of 20 applications that you delivered to Croatia Marketplace. I want to also thank our marketing team to organize all this event and Mike for your support as usual. Uh, next time, we really would like, again, if you would like to become a speaker, if you have any questions about the speakers and how to how to how how it all runs and operates, Anastasia Veselova is responsible for uh, the speakers, and she'll be glad to talk to you about the next circle we're going to run already next year, I believe, because December, I think we're going to skip during this Christmas holidays. 
And uh, I think that's it for today. We have some questions in place and uh, some of them will be returned via email. But for today, I want to wish you all the best. We look forward to seeing you in December 13th on the release of our new version of our product. And uh, we look forward to this release. Hope you're excited as well. And we should have a great rest of the day. And uh, let's keep in touch. Thank you once again.